Happy morning, everyone. I'm a Dr. Sudagar, head of a strategy from the Professional Housekeepers Association. As part of the fourth ING Visionary Housekeepers Convention and the sixth PHA uh, UA anniversary, we have curated a knowledge development session in association with Ecolastic. This knowledge development session provides opportunity for both PHA life members as well as the PHA UA members to gain insights on the trending uh, topics which are there in the accommodation uh, sector. Today we have with us uh, Mr. Ravi Techa, he is the program coordinator from Ecolastic. He is going to have a wonderful session for next 30 to 45 minutes on the environmental responsibility and innovative sustainable solutions. This knowledge development uh, session is uh, basically programmed as such, you are going to have 30 to 45 minutes of presentation, followed by 15 minutes of question and answer. After the question and answer, you also have an assessment where you will be given with your choice of uh, attending uh, five MCQs and you will be able to download the certificates after completing your assessment. This certificate is going to definitely carry credentials in your uh, uh, academic profile as well as professional profile since it's going to be jointly awarded by the Professional Housekeepers Association, the PHA UA, and also in collaboration with Ecolastic. So with this note, I warmly welcome uh, Mr. Ravi Teja, the Program Coordinator of Ecolastic, to commence your presentation, sir, and uh, complete the same in a 30 to 45 minutes maximum, post that I will be moderating the questions which is coming from uh, the participants, both in online as well as in offline, and then we will continue which is the online course brought, brought to you all by Professional Housekeepers Association and the PHUA. Now over to you, sir. Thank you so much, uh, doctor. So um, good morning, everyone. I'm uh, Teja from uh, Ecolastic Products. So firstly, special thanks to the uh, team of PHA uh, to giving this opportunity to present environmental responsibility and innovative sustainable solutions. So uh, when we talk about environmental responsibility, then we remind ourselves about the environmental hazard currently. So everyone knows uh, one of the main uh, hazard, which is in the environment, uh, which we are trying to eradicate or reduce for now is plastics. So next slide. So what is plastic? Actually, plastic is means playable and easily shaped. That is what is meant as plastic. But recently we are calling it as polymer. So synthetic polymers are long chain of atoms arranged in repeating units, much longer than those found in nature. So the length of these chains are actually adjustable. We adjust it uh, for our daily, day-to-day, -day, uh, you know, usability and functionality. So uh, in the past, like 1869, uh, this was uh, invented in substitute of ivory and uh, later uh, synthesized plastic, which means that uh, which is not found in nature, it is completely made by human, uh, has been uh, brought into light. And that is called the glide. Next slide. Okay, so uh, everyone uh, who are sitting in their cabin or room or office, wherever, if we look around, we know that uh, so many products around us will be plastic only. And uh, these are the common plastic items which we see uh, in our daily life. Okay, next. So, uh, how, where, how we identified that plastic is slowly coming into uh, the hazardous zone is uh, st as started in 1960s, where scientists uh, observed plastic debris in the oceans. And um, uh, later in 1970s and 80s, uh, it actually, the reputation of plastic still fell down. And the major con contributors for plastic pollutions are uh, the majority goes to this food and beverages, 
where you all notice that we use a lot in food and beverages and the rest are bottle and container caps, plastic bags, straws and stirrers, beverage bottles also. Yeah, next. Okay, so here come some facts with numbers. The world generates 400 million tons of plastic every year. You can imagine how huge it is of which 60% ends up in natural environment and or landfills. Even if it is put in landfills, we all know that it will uh, be uh, hazardous to the soil, the land, and obviously one day we come across a very uh, big hazard from it. So more than 12 million tons of plastic enter the oceans. Ocean plastic pollution on track rise to 29 million metric tons by 2040. It is huge really catastrophic. 100,000 animals die from plastic entanglement each year. These animals include land and sea animals, what I mean is. Humans ingest five grams of plastic every week. So uh, unknowingly, we also ingest so many grams of plastic during our food consumption and in our daily life habits. Oh, so, COVID-19 has added some more of it. Next. Yeah, next slide. Mm. Okay, so in this uh, picture, actually to the uh, right-hand side, you can notice uh, in the process of industrial, you know, how the plastic pollution cycle is going on. The main causes of plastic waste are plastic is cheap, readily available, and its use is widespread. The world's population is growing, and so urbanization is growing, and therefore the plastic usage is also growing. And one thing uh, which is common in daily life of every human is we have a disposable mentality when it comes to plastic. When we go to the market, we buy something. Uh, no vegetables or any groceries, anything. We give a single-use plastic a cover. And then when we come, we just throw it off, which is uh, making it more you know, hazardous to the environment. The plastic takes over 400 years to decompose. It's a long time. Marine shipping and fishing industries contribute also to this plastic pollution in oceans. Okay, so about single-use plastic. Why single-use plastics are bad for health and environment? Plastic additives are highly toxic when it comes into body of animals, humans. You know, leaches toxins into food and drink. Animals are eating plastic. They are literally eating plastics. You might have noticed like cows, buffaloes, you know, not their goats. They pollute oceans and kill marine life leaves huge carbon footprint <clears throat> you should read some about this carbon footprint it's very important so with plastic we leave huge carbon footprint difficulty of collecting and recycling plastic yeah, it is very difficult to collect and recycle plastic yeah, next okay so microplastics so microplastics are plastic particles that are smaller than 5 mm in size. They're more dangerous because you cannot detect their presence actually in so many items. Uh, two types based on how they originate. One is primary microplastics manufactured to be less than 5 mm, sometimes for use in cosmetics as well as plastic pellets that will later be melted down to make larger products, of course. Secondary, uh, secondary plastics is the second one, breakdown of larger plastics. This includes plastic microfibers, which are shed from garments when they are washed. Microplastics in the oceans are dangerous for marine life because they integrate with the marine food web and other organic contaminants. You can see the picture there, how it is going into, uh, you know, bigger marine animals and then causing problems. When microplastics enter soil, their plastic particles change their structure and texture, the resulting toxic effect on different groups of soil fauna. We ingest microplastics and, you know, 
factory. Yeah, so that will also affect the food chain when we ingest or the animal ingest. Even when the animal ingests the microplastic, when we consume it, the, it will go into us. So that is the problem. Okay, next slide. Okay, so there are disposal methods. The commonly used ones are these. Burn. If we burn plastic, <coughs> it will be air pollution. Bury. If you bury the plastic, it will be soil contamination. Okay, so if you don't do anything and if you left as it is, like you see in the picture, that is Mumbai beach uh, for the information. That is the Mumbai beach. The photo is taken from Mumbai beach and you can see how much plastic is left there. This is water pollution, including groundwater pollution. And recycling of plastic, currently it is done less than 60%. So this is harming animals and environment. Okay, next slide. So disadvantage of plastic recycling is, as I told you, do not separate their waste from proper manner. Plastic recycling processes are often quite inefficient. Some items are not recyclable at all. Volatile organic compound, we call it as VOCs, are released into the atmosphere. Melting plastic waste requires significant amounts of energy. Plastic recycling can be time-consuming. Jobs in plastic recycling are often carried out by unskilled workers. May give people a flawed incentive to buy more plastic products. Plastic can be recycled few times only. Yes, that's an important point. It cannot be recycled forever. Only few times. Recycled plastic may be of lower quality. Yes, uh, every time you recycle the plastic, the it degrades its uh, capacity. Okay, next slide. In, later from the previous slide, you can actually uh, notice uh, what is uh, type one, two, three uh, recycling uh, symbols, and accordingly you can. Yeah. Okay. So, what has our country done? Uh, no, no. Before slide, doctor. Okay, so the initiatives government have taken. Uh, yes, there have been taken some initiatives. Government banned the manufacture, sale and use of single-use plastic. Single-use plastic is, as I defined, it is a, uh, is as a single time using plastic. Uh, for suppose if we go to a market, we get a very thin polythene bag, very thin one, uh, transparent one many times. So that is single-use plastic because you use it once and you just dispose it off. Uh, but if you have a chair, plastic chair at home, that is not single-use plastic. That is more better, if we have to say. Yeah. So, um, sale was banned using single-use plastic from July 1, 2022, effective from uh, 30th September, 75 micron, and effective from 31st December 2021, uh, below 120 micron are banned. So, uh, it's three to four. Uh, two to three million tons million are the estimated usage in use plastic. Next. Uh, so now let us see what are the alternates. Um, it's a very uh, fortunate thing that we at least have alternates to plastic. So now let us see what are the alternates to plastic. This is very important because this is the future. Uh, Number one, stainless steel. Yes, it is an alternative. Tough and easy to clean. Glass, platinum, silicon. This material is flexible and durable. It's a very good material. Beeswax, natural fiber cloth. <coughs> it's a very sustainable thing. Wood, bamboo, pottery, and other ceramics. Paper, you already know. Paper is extensively used in replacing some products cardboard it's also a type of paper yeah next slide okay so uh, this is important because we all have to know about the three r's rrr that is reduce recycle and reuse these are very important so 
what you buy plastic items recycle correctly before you make a purchase just ask these three simple questions to yourself so do i actually need this is there an option with less plastic packaging is there an alternative made from recycled materials these three questions we should ask ourselves top tips okay when you buy something regarding this these are the tips like you know bulk buy uh, invest in reusable containers don't recycle anything smaller than a credit wash and dry your products before recycling put recycling bins in more than one room squash cardboard bottles etc yeah next next slide okay yeah so um, so in this context alternate to plastics we can discuss about bioplastics these are made of corn starch cassava or sugar cane alternative to petroleum based plastic can decompose faster and with fewer leftover toxins these act like conventional plastics in the ocean degrading into microplastics and harming marine life biodegradable plastics these are another type of plastics starch based pla pha we call biodegrade in industrial conditions that can reach hot enough temperatures oxo biodegradable or conventional petroleum based plastics with additives help break down faster so the compostable plastics this is the area where we should look into because they do not have any recycling requirements at all another subset of biodegradable plastics all compostable plastics are biodegradable not all biodegradable plastics are compostable require industrial composting composting means it's soil composting we dig in a hole we put it there it completely converts into manure to break them next yeah so ecolastic where i come from is proactive and proud to do such compostable products how we make these are corn from the corn we get this corn starch as you can see the picture corn starch you are all aware of it and from the corn starch we make these thermogranules the small granules or the pellets we call so what are these features and uh, specifications of these products from ecolastic these are made from corn starch non toxic to the environment animals and plants contains no conventional plastic has an electrical separative feature which means you can break it down into manure can have anti static feature as dust repellent compostable as per the standards iso good oil and grease resistant can add to home compostable approved by the government drdo heavy of i mean use of heavy metal free there is no heavy metal inks or anything in it it composts in 80 to 1 uh, 180 days uh, when i say uh, 180 days uh, when i say compost in days uh, i mean to say soil composting it's a landfill soil composting would turn to ashes when burned yeah so uh, our products go in this cycle see in the picture the corn goes to a bag the bag can be thrown after usage in a place that can be collected or it can be soil composted and when we put in soil for 180 days it becomes manure it adds to the nutrition of the soil why because it is originated from the corn starch yeah so next okay so some brief about our company um, ecolastic products uh, um, we call it ecolastic is an indian bioplastics manufacturer and research company established in jan 2020 to innovate design develop and manufacture differentiated compostable bioplastic products made from plant based products we use corn starch converts to water and carbon dioxide and biomass when broken down manufacturing plants and r&d lab we have supply across the states yeah we are doing it 
yeah we also contribute to the swachh bharat proudly yeah next so um, yeah mm, uh, garbage bags from ecolastic are made up of corn starch and 100% compostable in 3 to 6 months in ambient environment conditions and uh, they are available in packs uh, these garbage bags are a perfect fit and easy to use daily household kitchen and office purposes we have different sizes as mentioned because uh, each office or the household has its own requirements yeah next slide yes we have validated all the products from our side uh, by taking it to uh, and requesting for approvals from uh, cpcb we have license from them cpet tested hmm cpet is the testing uh, certification body from the government compostable as per the iso standards as discussed collaboration with drdo this is a major thing we had because the rdo approved collaboration means uh, the research is more valued when it is approved or collaborated by drdo recommended by niti ayog we recently we are the sustainable products of g20 um, uh, you know the conferences g20 conferences which are going on government of india and yes we have also exported our product to maldives yes so we are certified by the maldives government we got few awards um, biodegradable expo 2023 it's a very recent one new delhi as a bioplastics uh, manufacturer and a green india award yeah next slide so yes with that uh, i wanted to like once again mention that this earth this environment uh, is ours and it's our responsibility to keep it a sustainable environment because we have to hand it over to the future generations with a good healthy environment and so we at ecolastic uh, are an initiative to do such responsibility and i request you all of you to join this momentum momentum to begin this new organic era thank you so much all thank you what a brilliant presentation uh, right in the bright uh, morning we have uh, executive thank speakers you. joining in after uh, looking at the insights what we have uh, shared in our uh, life members group we have faculty members we have phd research scholars students across india participating in this wonderful session i'm so delighted as a person uh, watching your presentation uh, it, it it was like uh, watching a movie how uh, uh, the hero fought uh, for a problem and find a solution i think uh, we call us uh, deserves a big round of applause from all of us brilliant brilliant i'm completely with, uh, uh, with the with the content you have shared and the commendable job what you are uh, doing in in the, bringing in the organic era not just with the food but also with the plastics great thank so, you uh, now uh, now we will move on to the question and answer session the first question which uh, has uh, come from the audience uh, which i like to uh, post to you is uh, it is wonderful that uh, there is a problem when it why the product uh, uh, is very much uh, the sustainable how about the cost do you uh, uh, do you uh, do you intend to say the cost is higher when compared to the regular plastic or it's lower yeah so that's a very valid and good point so coming to the cost it is yes it is expensive than the regular plastic um, if i have to frankly admit it was uh, twice i mean double the plastic price um, then Uh, as we discuss all through we have we are moving towards the more sustainable place so we have to mm, move towards it um, uh, in fact i can bring up this thing like for a suppose even if it is harder and uh, costlier to make uh, lithium batteries electric cars or electric vehicles we are going towards that direction because um, we know it's harmful to use petrol petroleum products any Uh, so that is where i uh, think it's a double cost of plastic but then uh, there's a good point in this uh, the cost will be slowly reducing when it is used in bulk 
and when it is uh, uh, i mean the usage starts with all the people uh, it slowly comes down uh, it doesn't stay there definitely yeah brilliant brilliant all right we have with us our uh, one of our uh, uh, faculty member from ms ramya institute of applied sciences uh, ms sandhya anil kumar raise your hand uh, to ask a question over to you ms sandhya anil kumar thank you dr sudagar and um, good morning mr teja um this is sandhya and um, so uh, yeah i just wanted to know i, I think it's an awesome, awesome initiative it's really an awesome initiative we need lot more companies and brands to come with i think many more um you know substitutes for plastic and others but so i just want to know what is the acceptability from hotels and hospitals and other areas how right. are they seeing this and are they really using it um what is it like hello ms sandhya so that's a nice question yes uh, we saw so much mm, you know the interest from um, hospitality or the hotels or this um, this sector because uh, with the awareness going on now in the current um, society even they wanted to have all their guests to see that there are uh, sustainable products everywhere mm, they are actually reducing the plastic usage in their industry whereby they are coming uh, towards the using this sustainable product of course i don't uh, say that they only come for compostable products they are using glass they are using paper but they are moving towards compostable products because they they are the, this is the industry which looks towards the sustainable uh, innovation immediately because they are the ones who directly are in touch with the clients with the people common people mm, and uh, one more thing i should add up is uh, like recently we got some good uh, um, what leads or the good uh, queries from uh, taj hotels and uh, you know and uh, in hyderabad one of the uh, leading cafe uh, on us nilofer has joined us using our products already so they they are really showing interest that's what i want to say yeah. so uh, uh, are you also focusing on standalones because i think there are plenty and what happens with most uh, companies is that you know we, we try and um, deal or connect with only the larger brands and then i think we forget the smaller eateries and others and there are plenty of them so um you know uh, i guess it is reaching them as well i mean however expensive your product may be i think it's it's a need um but but is there a government um you know uh, ultimatum now i mean how strict is that sir about not using uh, single use and others yeah so those two points ma'am uh, the first point is uh, yes uh, actually uh, we have retail packs also the uh, thing i showed in the slide now uh, of okay. course we're selling it in bulk to um, big industries and big hotels and all, all that but then uh, we also have these retail packs which is packed to 15 um, pa uh, bags in a box and these are a online flipkart amazon and uh, e-commerce websites where any household can actually purchase and um, try it on uh, that is the uh, first point and the yeah, second point um, yes ma'am to talk frankly there is uh, uh, strict guidelines and rules regulations from the government but yes the implementation is starting only now i mean it has the implementation or the you know the strict rights or something they 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 slowly starting it's like okay Okay. Even and uh, I see it up in a positive way because uh, even the people needs time. All the uh, the small retailers they re really need some time to switch over. So uh, I think the government gave gave enough time. Now now they are stricter. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Ajay. Thank you so much. Thanks, Dr. Sudhakar. Uh, thank you, Ms. Sandhya, for a very valid question. Uh, the third question, which is coming from the participants uh, in this, uh, as per the research. uh most of the uh customers especially the eco sensitive customers are willing to pay extra for having an eco sensitive experience ensuring that each and every action of this uh in uh, uh in the hotels or any hospitality industries are not causing any harm to the environment uh in terms of your personal experience do you think the hotels are proactively accepting such products uh, Uh, uh for uh, purchasing and include in introducing uh, in their operation or is there any kind of uh, hesitance uh, to uh, cut down the cost 
no as as i mentioned um, before definitely the hotel industry the uh, hospitality industry is totally a uh, very uh, looking at this as a very in a positive direction because um, as i said uh, they have uh, actually they have a, a direct connection with the society um, due to which they have this uh, you know very consciousness they are high conscious for this uh, using this sustainable product they are showing so much interest cutting cost uh, yes they may do in some other places where it is okay but they really don't do this uh, when it comes to people's health safety um, uh, they don't do this so i really uh, look the industry hospitality industry now very you know positive brilliant brilliant uh, the other question which is coming from the audience is uh, as an individual how did you get the idea of uh, creating this wonderful organic era uh, so um, I, actually i can i should say that as a company we got this idea we established a research uh, um, the only point uh, how we got this idea is we looked into the future it's a vision where uh, we found that um, the two benefits that we get number one is adding up to this sustainable world i mean we it is a it need of the r number right. two is yes um, a business which can be actually set up so that we you know a long vision where we can prosper along with the community so these are the two points yeah. uh, brilliant uh, what are your future plans uh, with regards to ecolastic or your are you going to focus only on the garbage bags or you are having uh, plans of uh, expanding to other uh, categories of plastics which is used both in the domestic as well as in, in the industrial market so we come came out with uh, carry bags plastic uh, uh, everywhere when where the plastic is into like carry bags garbage bags uh, courier bags recently we came up with this courier bags where uh, we are already in talks with uh, amazon and uh, swiggy mart I mean, so again, stomach. So, uh, so um, and then also we came out with this wonderful product called biohazard bag, which are used as garbage bags only in the specially made for hospitals, clinics. Mm -hmm. So, so uh, we came up with this. Now we are looking forward in our research towards uh, shrink films. Uh, I hope uh, people uh, know the shrink films are used to wrap. yeah shrink films and also we are coming out with the lamination films so these applications we are looking forward um we are looking forward for the um, domestic market and also the export market but we are coming out with lot of products wherever we can reduce plastic and make this sustainable effort that's really brilliant uh, uh, uh. i'm glad to hear that uh, there is a, a question from one of the pha yuva member are there any career opportunities available for your students who have uh, completed uh, the bachelor of hotel management or diploma in hospitality management who are uh, passionate to work uh, in uh, in companies like yours uh, definitely there will be an indirect uh, hand in hand win win situation for those students because we go with the hospitality hotel um, sector very closely definitely it will be there right. Uh, with a uh, direct contact, you can contact us any time where your interest lies. Yes, we are open um, to um, recruit uh, R and D, research and development people, quality testing. Um, you know the uh, students who know hospitality, if they also can quality test it, it's a wonderful thing for us also. But uh, it is a, a indirect, uh, you know, win-win situation, hand in hand, where we can all benefit. because we are very much closely working with hospitality sector that is brilliant there is one more question which is coming from the audiences uh, what are the challenges you as a company uh, faced uh, while developing and uh, testing and also implementing this product in the market so the challenges were um, actually making uh you know it uh, possess all the qualities that a plastic um, bag should have for example i can give this example in a, a quick way um plastic has a resistance to heat for almost uh, 60 70 degrees it can hold so the same thing we want we have to work it out 
for suppose there are uh, people who are using it as sambar pouches i mean in the food industry they use it hot sambar pouches uh, these plastic covers and we know it is hazardous plastic should not be used as sambar pouches so now we came up with our product now the challenge challenge is we should also may, uh, give them the product which can hold the hot sambar 60 degrees or 70 degrees and uh, it should not never leak or you know disintegrate so that is those challenges we got it successfully we are today proud to tell that yes all the properties including water solubility heat cold everything all the properties the plastic bag has yes these products have yeah i'm back uh, in yeah. india with in india if you look at the food consumption is concerned we have choice of going for either an organic food or we can go for a regular food but the most of the people uh, prefer to go for an a regular food because the cost is very less do you think uh, as indians uh, there is a change of a uh, uh, mindset required uh, to uh, join this organic era to ensure that we are Sudhagar sir, you are muted. Yeah, can you hear me now? Yeah, uh, yeah. So I heard the question almost eighty uh, percent. So uh, if I'm not wrong, so you are asking about the mindset of the mindset, absolutely, uh, country absolutely. people. Yeah. So uh, to point at that one, uh, I say that uh, India in the past is not India now. So already people uh, of our country has already you know uh, so much forward way forward and they are now today they are competing uh, not only competing with the western world they are also teaching guiding the western world how uh, we can make things more uh, eco friendly um, so uh, in that context i should tell that google has uh, tie up with us uh, in using the product so um, you know the thing is uh, yes india is ready to use these products and uh, i am sure that indians you will use this first and they will show as an example to the other uh, world that they can be much forward in this yeah. uh, that's really good in fact i have used uh, the sample product what you have given in uh, our convention uh, held recently yeah. it was really wonderful i felt really happy that uh, i am using uh, something which is really biodegradable Uh, the yeah. feeling itself was really good. Uh, I think uh, there is an audience, uh, 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 Mr. Uh, Dr. Jaisendra Das. So I would like to uh, pose a question to you, uh, Dr. Jaisendra Das. Over to you. Uh, good morning, sir. Uh, first, uh, really thankful to you. Doctor Sudhagar, I think his mic got muted. Yeah, give me a minute. Yeah, uh, Doctor Jitendra sir, uh, please uh, unmute yeah. the mic. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. All right. All right. Uh, sorry, sorry for the interruption. Uh, so actually, sir, uh, first of all, uh, really it was a great uh, presentation, and uh, it was really nice to know a lot of uh, insights uh, from you, and. Uh, Actually, uh, just now, uh, Professor Sudhakar was asking about the opportunity for our students, uh, those who are interested in joining your organization. So, just wanted to know: Is there any course which may add value to them after they complete their BSc, which may make them more? Uh, Yeah, your question is any value-added uh, uh, courses can be pursued by the students, which will help them to get the job in uh, companies like Ecolastic, right? You are right, Professor. Sorry, sorry for the interruption again. Yes. Uh, not yes, an issue. Not an issue. Yeah, go ahead, uh, Mr. Ravi Teja. 
you can answer to the question. So, uh, hello, Dr. Jitin. So, um, that's a good question. So, we are also uh, thinking about it. We constantly want to interact, engage with uh, your students so that uh, we know better about the sector and we keep improving ourselves. But currently, there is no uh, courses uh, initiated from our side, but we really looking, um, we look forward uh, to make a tie up with the industry, um, PHA, or so that um, we can start this initiative, uh, which will be a mutual benefit. Uh, we also want to improve ourselves. Yeah. That's brilliant. Uh, I think uh, uh, Dr. Jitin uh, uh, does, yes, uh, ask the question, right? Uh, brilliant. So with this, uh, we have, uh, are there any other questions from uh, any other participants? I think uh, Dr. Jitin uh, does, you got the answer, right? Brilliant. Uh, yes, yes, I, I got uh, the answer. There is one more uh, participant, uh, Mr. Arul Anthony. Can you uh, uh, unmute yeah. yourself? And ask uh, good question? morning, Sudhagar, sir. Sir, I am Arul Anthony Samuel from IHM Chennai. I just wanted to ask Teja, sir. Sir, uh, as you said, uh, the amount Uh, Arul Anthony, you can unmute your mic. I request uh, the other par uh, participants to refrain from uh, muting others when they are uh, uh, speaking. Arul Anthony, yes. Yeah. So Teja, sir, I just wanted to ask you that, uh, like you said, uh, pla uh, making a biodegradable plastic bag is more a uh, double expensive than making a normal plastic bag. So uh, when it comes to the, uh, what do you say, the normal reality or the normal uh, people in the, uh, the surrounding, the people who are in the, uh, what do you say, the companies can uh, afford it. But when it comes to the, what do you say, the smaller uh, carts and the other shops, the small shops, that's not that much affordable. If it, uh, a plastic bag is costing them one rupee, but a biodegradable bag is costing them 2.5 rupees or two rupees, it becomes more expensive for them. So is there any possibility in future so that we can match the plastic bag price is there any possibility like that, sir? Uh, Mr. Arul, that's a very, very valid question. And uh, uh, yes, we, we as a humans, we also uh, look towards serving all the uh, communities. Uh, we don't want to uh, restrain ourselves to only, you know, affordable class. So yes, uh, we have a solution for that. As I mentioned before, when the uh, volume increases, as you know, any product, when the volume increases and the production increases, manufacturing increases from our side, the cost will definitely lower over time. Definitely, this will this will not be the scenario forever. So, uh, what we are doing for that is, we are uh, already focusing on the big brands or the big companies or the big bulk uh, buyers that's there. But then, uh, apart from that, uh, today, as I come here and uh, speak to you, you know, we want to like uh, associate which, uh, with uh, such organizations, associations like PHA. Uh, we really want to tie up. We want to uh, research product which can be made eco-friendly as well as um, affordable. So we want to come up with those products which are affordable to every household. Uh, we really want to do it fast. That's why we want to go a hand in hand with this such organizations. So, but of course, we know it can't be done in a day. We are trying for that. Definitely, we'll come up with that. Yeah. Thank you. I, I would like to add on to uh, uh, Mr. Raviteja. I think if all of us could uh, support a company like Ecolastic, uh, affordability of uh, such a biodegradable uh, plastic, it's going to be. Uh, Un at, at, uh, at an unimaginable price. I'm sure that will happen, isn't it, uh, Mr. Raviteja? If all of yes. us are going to yes. support you, I'm sure you'll be able to give us at a very... Exactly. Uh, Your support yes. is the cost reduction. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Uh, Brilliant. Brilliant. We'll Brilliant. achieve it together, Doctor. Yes. Yeah. Yes, exactly, exactly. All right, with this, uh, we have come to the end of our online uh, capsule course uh, brought to you by the Professional Housekeepers Association and the PHUA in collaboration with Ecolastic. The online co uh, uh, course, uh, capsule course, what we have covered today is uh, environmental uh, responsibility and innovative sustainable solutions. The assessment for this particular course will be shared in your Google form. Kindly take up the assessment and download your e-certificate. Do not forget to include in your 
academic profile or in the professional profile in order to enhance the credentials of the knowledge development which you have acquired from the professional housekeepers association and PHEWA. i warmly uh, thank all the participants uh, across india for uh, making this online course a grand success and i thank uh, mr ravi teja for a beautiful presentation with lot of insights covered in also in the question and answer session thank you everyone have a fantastic day i'm ending the session dr stark signing off it's strategy phe thank you thank you